everyone, welcome back. Let's jump right into this. So I'm starting off with a baked potato that's been in the oven for about an hour and a half and I covered it with aluminum foil. I'm only going to use half of the potato in my deep conditioner and I ate the rest for dinner. Keep in mind that these sweet potatoes are packed with nutrients and vitamins and you should try to incorporate them in your diet if you can or if you haven't already, they're so good. But thanks to Natural 85, I'm really loving the results when I applied it to my hair as well. Now I'm going to remove the skin and cut it into smaller pieces that can fit into my blender. Add about a half a cup of water and a fourth a cup of extra virgin olive oil. When it's done, it should look something like this, super buttery and creamy, no lumps. So my hair is divided into four sections. It's freshly washed. And now I'm going to follow up with my deep conditioner. It smells really good. It looks like baby food. It's super creamy. So let's see how this goes. I'm excited. So sweet potatoes are rich in beta carotene, which is an antioxidant our body turns into vitamin A. It's also rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which add luster and nourish the hair follicles. So make sure you apply this from ends all the way to your roots and massage it in so that your scalp can reap all the benefits as well. After applying the deep conditioner to my hair, I slicked my hair back and wrapped it in saran wrap to trap in the heat. And I left it in for about an hour. I wanted to come on and tell you guys about this deep conditioner that I tried. So my expectations weren't high. Best believe I love my sweet potatoes but I like to eat them. It's one thing to have them in your hair and then it's another to actually eat them. And I wasn't expecting much. After I put it in the blender, I saw the consistency of it. And I was like, ooh, this looks nice. It looks nice and creamy. It smelled good. It looked nice enough to eat. It looked like baby food. I applied it in my hair. Instantly, my curls started clumping. It just started to absorb all the moisture and my hair looked and it felt great. Like I was like, wow, this might be my new staple deep conditioner. A sweet potato is like less than a dollar. You just need some water and we all have olive oil in our kitchen. And that's all you need. Like my hair felt so good. So, and rinsing it out was no trouble either. I wasn't left with any particles in my hair afterwards or anything like that. On Whitney's video, she said that she, after she rinsed out her deep conditioner, she followed up with an apple cider vinegar rinse, but I didn't feel like I needed to do that. My hair, even now, it feels really soft. My husband this morning was like, babe, what did you do to your hair? It looks really shiny and soft and like, he was dragging it. But he's not the type of person to give me a compliment unless it's actually genuine. So I was like, oh wow, it must have did something. Um, next time I might maybe add some honey to it, but it's pretty much perfect as it is. I hope my hair doesn't get tired of it. 